Here we are back at PFD camp looking down the hill at the top of the driveway. Uh, made some progress. There's the foundation for the camp. And there's the porch, the red thing on front of it, along with my job box. I'm going to walk up the side here. And as I walk up, you might notice over there's an open door in the foundation, which is a uh, access door underneath. It's only three foot high for storage. Um, and it's lockable. And next to that, there's a foundation vent. And the front door to the kitchen is, I think, uh, just to the left of the foundation vent over above it obviously since the cabin's not there yet so we need to make a deck that's one step lower than the porch that extends out so you can get in the kitchen directly without going on the porch but anyway so I'm walking up the hill here from the car obviously I'm pretty tired I may not be completely coherent today I've had Four or five beautiful days up here. It's been 75 every day and sunny. Only 10 or 20 trillion bugs, but anyway, you can get a better look at what we got up here. I bought a Knopf job box, which is lockable. I had to paint these outer boards, just the, the rim joists for the porch because it's not pressure treated. I didn't have to paint the 6x6, six six, but I thought I'd make it match. We got our double 2x10 rim joists and 2x8 porch joists off the Simpson hangers. I've got some extra Vantec sheathing you can see here. That will be good for like the second floor to do work on because they don't it doesn't come with flooring. And we need to put floorboards down on the porch. I think 5 quarter inch. I don't think they're in the kit so we can do that anytime. Another thing I didn't get to Believe it or not, I spent three or four hours trying to clean up the site, but you can tell it's still a disaster zone. We still got these old batter boards. They're hard to pull out, and there's a rebar down in there. And the rebar takes some convincing with a crowbar and wrenches and to get the rebar out of the rock, even though it's not glued, it's just stuck in there. That's pretty hard. Put some thorough seal on the concrete wall. This footing's exposed, could have put it there too. If anyone gets ambitious, please feel free. This is more decorative than anything, but it does do some waterproofing. Um, this is flashing, you see. All ready to go. Uh, and what else? Oh, I should go around and show, see if we can see inside at all. I got Advantech sheathing on the, as a subfloor because it doesn't buckle like the plywood. And having lugged that stuff around, let me tell you, it's pretty heavy. There's boards all over the place. Anybody wants to get ambitious and pick stuff up, goodness gracious, would I be thrilled. I really tried, believe it or not, but I didn't do a very good job. Oh, and check this out. We got 1,000 board feet of rough sawn boards. We'll go take a look at those in a minute. I got a little sump pump here. Uh, this is a low spot. I might drill holes for drainage later. I started to, but I got tired. You can see where the sewer's going out over there, and there's a water pipe somewhere, I hope. I can't see it, maybe. Awful hard to see under here. We got some concrete piers. We got LVL beams. And 6x6 uh, six six posts. I'm a little, I'm thinking some bridging in the middle. I might put some aluminum angles off those LVLs just to tie it into the joist better to, uh, so they don't roll on me. Or on you, I should say. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at these, at our wood here. I got some of it where the septic's going to be, but oh well. We can move it later. We had some of the trees, some of the trees that we didn't cut up in you know, a firewood, we had taken to a sawmill, a local sawmill, O'Brien's. It's a dairy farmer who decided to find a different way to make money and he's bought a sawmill. And so we stacked them. I don't know if we stacked them perfect, 
Bill O'Brien, I'm sorry, Bill Lee delivered them for me, who's a local farmer, and uh, he and I stacked them, which took us most of the morning here to unload and stack, not most of the morning, a couple hours. So you can see we got like what they call stickers, boards going sideways to create some spacing. And we tried to get them relatively level, but you can see they are not perfectly level. Which means they'll be twisted a little bit. Anybody wants to jack that up and do a better job, knock yourself out. Again, I would be thrilled. Now, I need to ask Jerry if I should be throwing tarps over these, because I haven't yet. If I need to suspend a tarp above them, maybe, to keep the rain off. Probably do. Uh, these stakes are where the... That's the future power pole. What if I get them to move that up the hill some? You know, to stay away from the tree. That's a thought. That's the view looking down at the road. I think we need to cut a few trees here. So you get a little better view of the lake, but another day. You know, you can pretty see, easily see down once there's some trees removed. So you can see the hill doesn't really block the view, which is good. So this is a good height. This height's going to work out all right. And it's not too high up from the driveway. So this will be where you come in. <laughs> 